these are the Irish Post Awards 2017 live on TG4. Welcome back. We're on to our next award of the evening. Let's have a look. The Artist of the Year Award. To present this award, please welcome to the stage, Mr. Dara O'Brien.
Gurmila Mahadagara, but it was a kind of their ball. Imelda, congratulations on your award. It's been an amazing 12 months for you. I mean, totally life-changing, I think. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the highlights? Oh, God. I've had an amazing time, especially the last year or so. It's been really good, getting this new album out. I loved. Uh, one of my highlights was last night in the Royal Albert Hall with the wonderful Bob Geldof rocking out with me. And Ronnie Wood and Damien Dempsey and we partied on and uh, that was a highlight and singing for Conor McGregor at our national anthem and hopefully representing their country as well as we both could. So I was very proud to do that. And we're very proud of you. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about your new album. It's been a very personal journey, um, but for the first time, and people might not realize, but you produced or co-produced all of your albums to date, but this one was different. You handed it over and you helped <laughs> T-Bone Burnett produce it? You mean I gave up control? Not quite. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I like producing and uh, T-Bone did this one. Last one was co-produced with a great guy called Mike Crossy and the others I did myself. Well, thanks for asking me that. Most people ask you about your hair and your lipstick. So I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Yes. Well, you're very welcome, Melda. We're about a bit more than hair and lipstick. And, it, and it's nice to yeah. talk about the real hard work and the graft you're putting in that's getting you these awards and that's getting you this acclaim. Because as Karen Brady also said earlier, it's about the work and the graft. Absolutely. Well, I think it's... It, I love work and heart because I love what I do. And uh, I'm very lucky to get to do what I love so much. And I'm a little obsessed about it. And I... I'm surrounded by really great people and great, uh, just great talent in Ireland and great music. And one thing that I am very proud about being Irish is that we cherish our culture and we cherish the arts as a very important thing, not as a frivolous extra. It's important to us and I love that about us. And you're a fine champion of it. Imelda May of Wiener Congratulations, cohort of the We're going to find out exactly uh, why Imelda has won these awards. We're going to get a little flavour. She doesn't drop that award, I have back. to say. Um, so Imelda is absolutely incredible. If you haven't seen Imelda perform before, you are in for a treat. Please sit back. She is an incredible singer. Her band are assembling there. We've got her guitarist all ready to go. And this will be a treat indeed. A worthy award winner and a very special treat for you if you're enjoying things. It's hashtag Irish Post TV lower there. So well done. Be a very well remembered. Very well Irish remembered. Post Awards Excuse even. Me. Sorry. Yes. Very well hashtag forgotten. Irish Post Awards. Irish Post Awards <laughs> lower there. You can just have hashtag Amelda May because here she is. Give it up. They raised her up 
industry has been phenomenal not just in Britain but all over the globe and that brings us to our next award the building Britain award sponsored by DRS bond management to present this award please welcome to the stage mr. Chris Davies of DRS bond management So here comes Chris, thank you very much indeed Chris. Chris is the Managing Director of DRS Bond Management, one of the headline sponsors of course Chris um, this evening. Give us an indication of some of the things you do. Eamon, we arrange um, performance bonds and public works bonds for the construction industry. you're involved with the, the Irish Post Awards tonight. Very sorry, we've got to apologise with our, some of the sound issues um, tonight, so please forgive us with that one. But how come you're involved with the Irish Post Awards tonight? My lovely wife is half Irish. I've got no Irish connections at all, so I'm now three quarters Irish. That's good enough. That's all you need to know. Okay, let's see our four finalists at this year's Building Britain Award. The companies that have been shortlisted as finalists for the Irish Post Building Britain Award, sponsored by DRS Bond Management are O'Halloran and O'Brien, Galdris Group, Grand Construction and MJ Rooney Construction. And the winner is Ground Construction Limited. Please welcome to the stage Trevor Diviny, Agus Paddy Shalahan, O Ground Construction Limited. Agus the Shirchin Gration Bradham, Kogal the Brachtele of Rufthal and Oft. Ian Kacherfab, Kechi will to Hay. Tommy, come on. Mafar, can you tell us a little bit about your Irish connections? Yeah, well, I'm from a place called Upper Church in Tipperary. So, we're used to winning things. Excellent, <laughs> excellent. Well, I'll uh, let you win it, actually. Why don't I let you receive the award first? Okay. Okay, shall we do that? So, you're from Tipperary. You must be a good man. My husband's a tip man as well. Oh, whereabouts? Uh, Ballandary. Oh, God, yeah. Nina. That's it. Yeah, great. Now, can you tell me a little bit about this award and, and what it means to you? <clears throat> well, I came here in, uh, in 1988 uh, from Ireland uh, with my wife, Sadie. Actually, she decided we should come. So um, we came here uh, and started off in business in 98, uh, myself and my business partner, uh, Trevor Divney, and uh, we formed this little company, and uh, we're now turning over 100 billion a year. Well done. But it's not just about the bricks and mortar for you, Paddy. You're doing a lot more than building. You're helping out. Well, we're always trying to uh, contribute to society and uh, help our fellow individuals. I mean, our, uh, our employees are, come from 27 different nationalities around Europe and some and even in Asia. So we have our Irish contingent and the UK contingent now is a, you know, about 30 percent of what, uh, what it used to be 10, 15 years ago, where it was all Irish. Now we've got uh, diaspora from everywhere working for us. Excellent. Well, you're doing great work. Paddy Shanahan, 
Congratulations. There you go. That was the Building Britain Award. Congratulations again to Grand Construction Limited. If you are tweeting or posting on Facebook this evening, be sure to use the hashtag Irish Post Awards. Sinead, I guess Fos Lahaf, Nyart Kyol, Johnny McDay, Damien Dempsey, Codeline, I guess Gond Out on Grotham Seal, our Lifetime Achievement Award, Fanny Ling. Gamani Diarib, I guess we're Gail Faltalash, could you the Irish Post Awards, Pam, would you bind on Salt Asunlichia? Credit and the credit. Achas kyaar wen more radam the hiche. Yes, yes, it's far from over. And uh, matter of fact, as a matter of fact, more sound problems. Forgive me. As a matter of fact, people are enjoying themselves so much you can't tell when we're on TV or off TV. <laughs> but we're back on TV again. Uh, we have a unique talent for you now. He is an award-winning Irish artist who's enjoyed worldwide commercial and critical success. Yes. Shaharva special August on special to Aguini Wash the Akasa Masai could give me the fall to river Damien Dempsey.
giving and is willing to give you as much as you give. He does have this ability to make you feel at ease. He's committed to pulling out whatever is inside of you. Everyone that Johnny comes in contact with, he betters as people and as musicians. John will always be a light that guides you. We write the most amazing songs together and I can't wait to do more. He's my brother. I love this person. I love you. Congrats. Congratulations, Charlie. I love you. I'm very, very lucky to know him. All right, Johnny. You can. Please welcome to the stage our outstanding contribution to the Music Industry Award winner, Untwassel Johnny McDade, Lorraine Wachner. Congratulations. You are a popular man with a great talent. And obviously you've got the respect of so many people that Courtney was able to get in touch with and they all were happily in there to say nice things about you. When were you first aware that you had this gift? Because it is a gift. Um, before I even engage with that, I was wondering if you could give me the gift of a Kleenex hanky because I'm absolutely overwhelmed by all of those amazing messages. And I have to say, Courtney, thank you so much for going to that amazing effort to put that together. Thank you. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Um, Do you know what I find spooky? I find spooky that your favorite friend is my favorite friend as well. It's amazing. I mean, amazing. some would say spooky. Some would say we may have to go out for a walk afterwards and have a chat. But. <laughs> Look, you know, the thing is, I, as you saw there, I, I get to work with the most amazing people. Um, I'm in a band with my best friends, and I get to go into studios all over the world, or just living rooms or hotel rooms, and make records with people that I love. And that's pretty much all I do. That's all I have to do, is be in there and allow that to happen. But how did it happen? When you think back, you were well, born in Dublin, brought up in Derry. Yeah. Uh, when you were at school and when you were young, did you always feel that this was the path for you? You know, we're, we're from a, a country where people fight, or at least historically, they fought with each other a lot. and. It's amazing to see this gathering of people fighting for each other. And what... When I, when I was a kid, when I was a kid growing up in Derry, music to me was the, was the way forward. It was the way forward where we could say, where we could express this, this part of us here, our hearts, and to do it in a way that actually inspired others to express theirs. So for me, music was a, was a given. I had to have it, and you know, I'm from a family where my, my mom, uh, who's here tonight, is from the Bogside in Derry, as is my dad. And, um, you know, they, they spoke their hearts to me, and I found music, you know, first of all, as a, a guitar sitting in the corner of our living room, and, and uh, now I find it yeah. um, in, in front of all these people. But your music means so much in different ways to so many people. Um, your relationship with Ed Sheeran, for instance, that we, that we heard about earlier. That's tabloid. <laughs> that, that's not true. <laughs> is there a song, above all others, that means more to you than, than the rest? Yeah, the, the, honestly, the next one I write means more to me than all the rest. Um, because we, our, what this is all about, and you know what what Elgin has created here um, by giving us the chance to to shine a light on those of us that have left our tiny little rock in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, is that we have potential. 
and potential is what I'm interested in. I'm interested in what someone has to say and in the potential they have to say it. And that's what our country thrives on. It's what it gives us. It's what burns in our heart. It's what's in our blood. It's our potential. So the next song I write will be my favorite song until the one I write after that. You, you just know when you're talking to this man, you're talking to someone special. And he's a poet. He talks lyrically like that. You are, you have a command of language. And what, what, what drives you? What is, it, what is it that's inside you? How naturally does this come to you? Well, for me, it, you know, everything that you've seen here tonight is about community. We are, all of us, a community. That's what we are. We are people from Ireland who left and came here to England to make more of our lives. Or we're from Ireland and we're living in Ireland and we're bringing our gift to England or we're bringing our gift to the world. So we are community. So what drives me is exactly that. It's community. And that's what this is to celebrate. That's what we're about. It's community. It is an absolute pleasure to give this award tonight. Jolly McDade, thank you very much indeed. Congratulations, outstanding music award. Thank you very much indeed. Good man. Thank you. Thank you. Johnny McDade. I feel worried if I slap the Johnny. The Makin to Gome, Ikigamadan, Egehain, Agus of Hard to Kill or a Keller in Shell. I've sold you with eye at War Bradham Lehike. Kahamut Su Sheer, a score bling on the Gradam Shell. Agus and Hushku will the Irish Post Awards. Ho special. The Irish Post is proud to be championing the Irish abroad for over 40 years. That being Irish is special. And not just for, for tonight, but the great work that the Irish Post has done throughout the years. Terry Wogan was a legend. People like the Irish Post keeping his legacy alive. Thank you for all your support over the last 40 years. Well, Shane, I heard that you do regret it and made it up on to my the Gradam Shah hard and blinta. Ach, no shame. It's time for a very special one. It is, it is. The final award. Oh, for goodness sake. Microphone. Yes. The final award of the evening. Let's have a look at the category. The Lifetime Achievement Award 2017. To present this award, please welcome to the stage Ms. Vanula Flanagan. Well, I have uh, been honoured to be here in previous years uh, when Fiona's actually picked up this, this very award. What, what does it mean to receive this? 
Actually, it's, it's a great honor because of the community here and because of everything that Elgin Loan has done to honor the community. I mean, and, and reaching into, reaching far into the community and pulling out people whose lives otherwise would go unnoticed and certainly unrewarded. So I think that's wonderful that they do that. The Irish Post is to be congratulated for acknowledging the importance yeah. of the Irish community here. Well, I tell you, another thing I would like to do is have the best of attention, please. We're going to look at some of the career highlights of the winner of this uh, Irish Post Lifetime Achievement Award winner, because this guy will have a lot to say, so we want you to listen after you find out who it is. You know, what do you want this guy to say? in his way. This wasn't a consultation with the trustees. This was a statement of fact. This was going to happen. Off at first because I just thought it was being ridiculous. We know what to do. Do it. Do it. See this little girl? She had 10 minutes to live 20 years ago. She's here tonight. Tell me, how can these eight men refuse us now! Aruni Oshle, Kurgi Mila Falta Hunstarcha, please welcome the winner of the Irish Post Lifetime Achievement Award 2017, Untwasel Bob Geldof. you 40 years ago uh, at Ulster Television for the first time and you you know you were then you are now a tour de force what is it inside you my friend that makes you want to speak out well I was afraid to touch Fanula there because of the uh, you know me too you know so um, I just think it's um, I think things are things are not immutable things can change um, if you think that things should change then um, you can sort of move towards that I was lucky that um, I learned that rock and roll could be in my time the rhetoric and the platform for change so I was able to use that with the rats and I was able to use it with this stuff and uh, sometimes it works but Bob, sometimes you could argue the fight is not yours. Why get involved? And that's where I really admire you. Myanmar, freedom of the city of Dublin, uh, Prime Minister Suu Kyi. Why was it so important that you made the gesture you did by handing back your, your freedom of the city of Dublin? You, you haven't given this to a Burmese woman lately, have you? Because, fuck me, you know, it's going straight back. <laughs> Um, so I was properly honoured and uh, very moved like I am tonight because my own city gave me something that doesn't go to very many people and um, uh, when she came to Ireland I was asked to speak welcome to her and to sing welcome to her and myself and Bono did a song and myself and Damien Rice did a song and our country 
our city could not do enough for this woman. And it turned out that she was complicit in murder. She was uh, a handmaiden to ethnic cleansing and she was an accomplice to genocide. And I don't want to be, I know this sounds pious and I'm really sorry because it sounds like grandstanding, but I think she should be taken off the Nobel Prize list, keep the money, take her off the roll, and I think the same should happen with the city of Dublin. Ireland or Dublin should know of no truck with this murderess. But Bob, how has she changed? Why has she changed? I don't know. I mean, you know, I've heard the apologists say she's a victim of the generals. She's a prime minister. The job is to speak out. 80% of the people of Burma are Buddhists, and they agree with this cleansing of people who've been in their country for 300 years, but they're of a separate religion. And it's wrong. And um, she has got a responsibility. I stood on a stage in Bogota in South America uh, eight weeks ago with four Nobel laureates, Kofi Annan, President Santos, Mohammed Yunus, and the woman from Yemen, incredibly brave people. This is the biggest honor that we can give to a human. This is the greatest honor we can give to an Irish person. But their job, their job is to take on a special onus of responsibility. She's failed in that. She's also failed as a prime minister. I don't care if the generals have got some lock on her. Her job as a Nobel winner and as a prime minister is to lead. And her job is to stand up and say, enough of this, and if you don't, I'm out. It's very easy. So the corruption is power. People become consumed with this power. And it's kind of happening here. I listened to Shad, uh, Sajid, and he's a, he's a Remainer. And, you know, what's amazing about tonight is that all of us owe oh, this night, this great success of ours, and maybe less of some of our Irish community who we need to constantly monitor and take care of, but we owe it to a magnificent country and a very generous and tolerant people who are the British. And if we don't acknowledge that, if we keep locked into our community, then there's something wrong. So the Irish have always, what did you say? What did you say? I think what they're saying, Bob, is keep on standing up, keep on saying what you're saying. 90, ni over 90%. Over 90% of the Irish in Britain, the great Irish cities of London, Manchester, Liverpool, Derry, and Belfast voted to remain. And it is in the interest of Britain to stay in Europe, as it is in the interest of Ireland to be allied with Britain in Europe. And this is very dangerous for our native country, and it's very dangerous for here. And with needs us, he's nudging me, but you know, you take whatever opportunity you can. <laughs> Together we are immense. Together we are really immense. And we have a year and a half to prevent this catastrophe. We're used as Irish to the English shooting themselves in the foot, but this is the first time I've seen themselves knife themselves in the guts. Always standing up, always speaking out. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2017 Lifetime Achievement Award winner, Sir Bob Gallagher. See you, Bob. <laughs> Before we bring you to our very last performance. This is the very last uh, performance. Let's hear it for all of this evening's Irish Post Award winners. Thank you. Eamon, we've had a great night. Uh, Tom. 
Aoife. Thank you very much indeed. All good things must come to an end. That's it from us. Thank you for joining us. These have been the 40th annual Irish Post Awards. Good evening, Tasul and Shiva Ekal Rash Lingarish Gagarit. As Fajr Liv, Sul Acha Erin the Gratham Show, you can watch these awards. They're streaming live on Irish Post TV or pop into us on the TG Kahar website at tgkahar.ie. Agus is. Shine? Well, we look forward to seeing you again soon. And I leave you with our final performance of the evening from the phenomenal Coda Line. Take it away. Very last minute, uh, we weren't actually planning on doing this, but uh, Johnny, would you like to join us on stage? There's an extra mic and an extra guitar here. Come on, bro. <laughs> yeah, come on, man.
Cheers.